Okay, guys, so for school, I have to make... Hey, guys! That's Ariana. She's leaving out for school, too. But for school, I have to make a project. I have to have a project. I have to make a beam. We have to put rebar in it, and then we have to test it with a hydraulic pump. Um, I'm going to record that tested. I'm going to we'll be testing in school. But first, I have to build the mold for the concrete to be poured. Yasmin's going to come and help me. We'll take all the work to pour the concrete. <clears throat> so, I have the two sides. Honestly, I don't know if this is being scaled properly. Um, my classmates did it for me. Well, did it. The math portion. And I'm building it, so... It is what it is. And my mom is not here because she usually helps me with this stuff, but it's fine. So it's going to look something like this. We don't want that. I should have looked at this before. Oh lord, this is going to be bad. This right here, this might mess it up, but I'm going to wrap it with um plastic bag, so yeah, it's, I don't know. I haven't done this in a year, so this is just the mold, so these are the rebar. We're gonna put the side. We don't need them for now. I'm gonna actually put on some gloves because I have my nails on and I don't want them to breathe. Make sure that it is going through having this connection right here instead of like going at an angle or anything it has to go straight through so right here i would say <clears throat> yeah and of course you should be wearing safety stuff but i'm not i know what i'm doing <laughs> This is the final result. We have this. Um, there's like a little bit of stuff here that it might seek through, which we don't want. So I'm pretty sure when, like, when we do the plastic bag, it'll help. But now that we have this, it has some weight on it. So this piece, we're gonna do the bottom. Like lay it literally just like <clears throat> this. Like so, but I'm gonna flip it over so I can um so I can uh screw it from the bottom of that. And there's one hole here, which is not too bad. Only thing I'm concerned about is this piece right here. But it's better than this piece right here, so yeah. And uh, yep, yeah, let's get back to it. You know what I'll do? I'll put tape here. I'll put tape right here. And I'll use this 
to run into each other so So here we see that lift right here because the screw's not down on this side. Let's see what we see from the other. I mean, it's not too bad over here, but I'm still gonna put a screw over here. It's pretty bad though. I don't care though. <laughs> Remember, this is a testing project. So nobody is walking on this beam. Nobody is going to sit on this beam. A hydraulic pump will literally go down the center and put pressure on it until it cracks and then we have to report that i'll show you guys when to her I have little weak wrist so it's starting to hurt <laughs>
one for it. I can't do that. gonna cut one two three four five six rebar on that side and then I'm gonna cut one two three four five six rebar I mean holes for the rebar All right. so they're gonna go through like that and they're gonna sit inside the concrete like They're gonna sit inside the concrete and stick out like that. They're going to. I should have got more rebar. Wait, I might have to get more rebar. Oh wow. They're not long enough, like. Anyways, what I'm gonna focus on now is cutting the holes. So I'm gonna go inside and get a marker to make a circle and then I'm going to use the thing that we drilled through concrete to drill holes in here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay guys, so I took the, the phone holder, I mean stand inside. But this is the thing that's going to make the holes inside of the thingy. I'll probably just place my phone right here in the car. I had to do the the holes off camera because they were a bit hard and my mom was walking me through them. I just stood it up, put where is it? This um this bit right here it cuts through, it's supposed to cut through concrete, wood, I think metal, but yeah, it cuts through that and it's supposed to give you a hole. So it gave me the holes that I'm looking for to put the rebar and let me show you how Okay, so the rebar goes through here, the holes. It's going to stick out, and then I'm wrapping it with. Ooh, where's my? Oh, did it get down here? I'm wrapping it to um, cause the rebars weren't long enough to go through what I want. So I'm wrapping it with some wire to hold it, and then when it gets when like when the concrete gets poured, it's going to hold like hold up right here. So the rebars are going through the holes. And I didn't do all six because I think it would have been too much. I think this amount is good enough. But yeah. And then now we have to mix the concrete and then pour it. And then I also have to put tape inside here. So that's what I'm going to go do now. Tape here so the concrete won't spill out in these cracks. You see where the light's coming through? So concrete won't spill out of the cracks. And then when Yasmin get here, probably around like 11.30, I'm going to pour the concrete. And then after that, it's going to sit and cure. So I'll see you guys back soon. So right now I just went around and taped up the sides so that when I do pour the concrete, like I have to tape here, that it's not coming out. Tape up the sides here. Make sure that it's sticking. I'm gonna put another layer because this is masking tape and it's not as sticky as duct tape or um, scotch tape. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna put another layer around and then um, hopefully by then, Yasmin. Oh, we have to tape this part too. I'm gonna tape that. 
Uh, hopefully by then Yasmin should be here in the next 20 or 30 minutes and she'll help me do the concrete to help me mix it, pour it, and then I have to figure out what I can place here to keep this up. Goody up. This is how we're doing so far. Okay guys, so this is the final result. Right before it needs to get poured. So you see no light should be coming in. Well I see light on that side, but I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, this is the final result. We have the rebar in there. It's kind of positioned bad, but it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. And I'm tired. <laughs> So we have the side sewed up so no concrete can get through. It's so like it's so windy today, it's crazy. This side is sewed up. I sewed up the thingy so the um concrete won't spill in that hole. And yeah, we're ready to pour the concrete. So